Hello. I'm not going to repeat what already has been said. Huh? And straight go to what I want to say. I'm so happy to recall to mention, as we have migrated from oral tradition to digital tradition via print media, something important happened, which we all have to realize and recognize. From oral tradition, when the word was in oral tradition, word work never came alone. The word came with the family. The word came with the sound, and word came with the image. Like I'm speaking now, there is an image to it, to the words I speak, and there is a sound to the words I speak. When we migrated to print media, the word lost its parents, and it became an orphan. And all the intelligent people who help migration realized this, but opened a wonderful orphanage for him, for the world. That orphanage was called book. And all the words were kept in book. And like all orphans, or some orphans who have lost their parents in a carnival, kept on imagining how would be my sound? How would be my image? And for about 100 years, there was no answer in that. And then suddenly, after the invention of sound waves or All India Radio and cinema, just about 100 years ago, the word found its image and sound again. But what it realized is they were not together. The word was in the book, sound was in the air, and image was on the screen. And unfortunately, image was in the hands of commercial people, and they exploited image for entertainment. Now in digital era, once again the family has come together and has found an affordable home, which is mobile. Where word is together with the image and sound, unfortunate thing is, meantime in the print media, we all teach and learn only reading and writing. But we never are taught or learn how to see, how to listen, how to smell. And even today, we are doing it passively. And the dangers of passive seeing and listening are worse than passive smoking. Passive smoking damages only body, which is only the container. The container of that body is mind, which can flourish with good education, and now we realize if we want to really use a good language for learning and teaching, we have to learn all these three languages, language of image, language of sound, language of word, because cinema combines all these languages. And as a doctor, I would like to remind you, image and sound has always been, and even today, the language of emotional communication. And word is the language of thinking communication, what you think. And when you see cinema, the communication is at three levels. The word communicates at a conscious level, and emotion communicates at a subconscious and unconscious level. So when we learn it, what we have to learn is recognition and competence of emotional understanding, which is very important in not only education, in health also. So I request you now, I have been working, as some of you might know, I was trained as a medical doctor and a psychiatrist.
but my extracurricular activities as an actor actually helps me to be invited here, not because I'm a doctor. An indie process of doing and following both, I really learned how they are complementary to each other. Word helps us to develop only the cognitive skills. But art is the space which tells us the sensitivity where cognition is welcome but not alone. And the last thing I would like to remind you, since all of you are teachers, I'm sure all of you know about olive ridley turtles, turtles which live in sea. Recently there were experiments. <coughs> the turtle was put with an antenna and was let into the sea. And through the antenna, you got all the information about sea life. So when we are sent into this world from the mother's womb outside, we are delivered with five antennas. We call them Jnanendriyas. Panchendriyas or Jnanendriyas. Eyes, ears, touch and everything. Now we get the information about the world from all these Jnanendriyas. Intelligence is not called Jnanendriya. Like old Nana Fadan is, he is only half wise. Intelligence is to process the information received by these five antennas and convert it into knowledge. So it has become very important for us to learn the language first. Otherwise, what happens, the, it's very evident. Today you have seen number of people logging for photographs on mobile without knowing why they are taking photographs. None of them are photographers. None of them are using their sensory skills to create an experience which will stay in their own memory card. All of them are using artificial memory, which is not their memory, and it can be lost. This memory has a function which is called auto-delete. What is not required is not kept. But so now we must effectively use the medium of cinema to in education. And for that, like all good teachers, teach not only reading and writing, what to read, how to read, and why to read that. And we have learned all along the difference between the healthy food, junk food, importance of exercise in physical health, our mental well-being, which Rekha addressed to, depends on our mental food. And what is our mental food? Best of literature, best of music, best of cinema, best of emotions, and best of thinking. And the teacher's job is to use all these nyanendriyas to transfer the good in everything. So instead of only studying mental illness, we will help preventing it and develop mental well-being for us to be a happy society and not see what is going on around us. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Dr. Agashe, for giving us such an information, such, a, such an insight in your thought process. Thank you. We really appreciate it.